contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Well, we welcome in this Mass uh, Desiree uh, Lazana. She's the principal of Holy Trinity Elementary School in Bay St. Louis. She'll be proclaiming the word today for us, so welcome. Uh, also, we welcome uh, all those that are joining us to celebrate uh, this Easter Monday. Uh, it is Easter week, a time in which we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord, and so we, we pray for uh, all of our people, all of our school children, especially those at Holy Trinity Elementary, uh, and their families, and all of our faculty and staff. And then we remember also our uh, new principal who will be taking over after this year, uh, Patience Classen. And so together, as God's people, we take a moment, reminded of our sinfulness, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that through, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed, all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne. He foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. 
God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. 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 Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord or you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Alleluia. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Alleluia. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Alleluia. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the, the news to the disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this, gets, if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the uh, women at the tomb uh, were, were really uh, searching for Jesus. And uh, they didn't know at the time that they were actually searching for the risen Lord Jesus. Uh, and didn't know until he, of course, uh, appeared to them. And uh, so that's part of the first question, I think, for us as we celebrate this, this Easter Monday, are we ourselves, do we find ourselves really open to the risen Lord Jesus in our lives? Uh, coming to us in our prayer, coming to us through the Word of God, coming to us through our spiritual communion uh, together, coming to us in our families, in our homes, and if we are at work also. Uh, and then uh, kind of underlying the gospel is still the question, do we believe? Because we have presented uh, both interpretations of what happened. Uh, for the, the soldiers, it was somebody stole his body. For Mary Magdalene and the other Mary and the disciples, it was he has risen from the dead. Um, and that step in faith to believe that he has risen from the dead literally changes everything, everything. And so every difficulty, every problem, every circumstance in our lives in the, in the light of the resurrection is changed. For there is always hope, there was always God's love, there's always the presence of Jesus risen from the dead. Today, um, I just encourage all of our children especially, but our adults too, our school children, to uh, 
just be aware of those special resurrection moments, um, those special moments with family, those special moments with your brother and sister, those special moments with uh, those we love, those special moments in which uh, we experience God's great love for us, Jesus risen from the dead. And so we, we enter this Eucharist and we pray in a special way that He may be with us and that we may know Him alive in our lives and that death has no more power over us. Believing in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, we offer our prayers and our petitions to our loving God. We pray for the church that we may continue to be a sign of Christ risen from the dead. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Pray for uh, peace in the world, for countries that are at war at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Pray that the peace of Christ may touch all those who have died, especially those who have died from the coronavirus. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are ill, especially those affected by the coronavirus, for each of them, that God's healing hand will touch them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray also for all of our health care workers, that they may know the, the love of the church and the love of the God's people uh, as a minister uh, to all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let's pray also for uh, all of our uh, school children, uh, especially our Catholic school children, all of our children and faculty and staff and families at Holy Trinity Elementary. Uh, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Now, in the silence of our hearts, let's offer our special prayers. For all these prayers, the prayers of the whole church, for the intentions of our, our Holy Father, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers. Help us to continue to embrace the, your Son, Jesus, risen from the dead, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, through the earth, work of human hands, which become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash your way by iniquities, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is a true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he destroyed our death, by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
peace of the risen Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies no more, death no longer, have dominion over him. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let us pray. May the grace of this sacrament, this Paschal sacrament, abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We'll be live tomorrow again at 1130 to celebrate the Eucharist.